Hello everyone, this is Victor Fitzgerald. What I'm gonna do right now is walk you through a number of third-party email clients that are hosted overseas. So they've got a little bit more privacy than the clients that you will find in the US. Um, that being said, I'm gonna walk you through four main providers right now. Uh, the first one you're looking at here is called Collab Now. The next will be Tutanova and ProtonMail and then Lavaboom. Now each of these have our paid services uh, they might be free now, but they will definitely be premium uh, in the near future. So keep that in mind. Collab now is one of the more expensive, and it's billing itself as a Google replacement. Um, that being said, it's based in the Swiss Alps, and it's supposed to be remarkably friendly and easy to use. The problem that I have found with it is that there is no encryption option. So I can't actually go in and encrypt, encrypt a message using PGP. It does have everything else that I would want though. So it's got a built-in calendar. It's got pretty much all of the tools that I want to be a Gmail and Google replacement, um, except for that encryption. So keep that in mind. It is a zero knowledge company. Uh, they are based overseas. So there are some benefits there. You're gonna be looking at around $13 a month if you want to host it yourself. If you want just email, you can pull in a $5 a month option uh, if you would like. Now Collab Now has a great interface. It's got all kinds of bells and whistles that you're not going to find in some of the other products and that's because it really is built to be that Google replacement. You're going to be able to organize things a little bit more than you would before. It's got integrated spam filters. It's got all of these options for doing adding notes and files and things like that. Um, the more you use it and the more storage you put into it, the more you're going to need to pay because you're going to pay based on the storage that you get. Um, so that is kind of the rundown of Colab Now. Um, I'll go ahead and just show the uh, file browser as well so that you can see that. Um, it is just a simple Google replacement. There is no encryption, but you're just gonna have to take their word for it that they're a zero knowledge company. What I wanna switch over to now is just an email product, and that email is Tutanota. Now, Tutanota is a service that's very inviting. It's got a great app. Um, it's very straightforward to use, but that being said, it doesn't have a lot of the, the tools that you're gonna want in an encryption service. And so right now I can go ahead and add a bunch of contacts. I can create a new email from within Tutanota, but you're gonna see I can't organize my archive. I can't star messages, I can't mark things as red. I, can, I can't do a lot of those things that I'm used to in a simple email interface. They are unrolling some new and advanced features, um, so keep that in mind as you move forward. Uh, you can see that in the email that's actually on my screen is that they're gonna be releasing some additional content over the next day. When you create an email in Tutanota, so if I'm gonna send this to my normal Gmail account, uh, and let's just send it to an old alias, and I just start typing. What you're gonna notice is that I have the option to end-to-end -end encrypt my file with a password that I designate. So I would use the silent circle or something like that to send the message with the password to the person that I'm sending it to, and then they would be able to open it. In just a minute, I'm gonna actually show you what all of these things look like or I can send it as just plain text if I don't want to send a confidential message. And I do that just by clicking off the encryption. So that's two to note that right now they are free. Again, it is a beta version, so keep it in mind. Our next offering is ProtonMail. Proton is also a free service. It is has a couple more bells and whistles. Uh, like it's got more scam, spam filtering. It's got a draft feature, which I love. Um, simply just having the ability to store a draft so I don't have to send it immediately is something that I need to have. Um, it doesn't have any built-in PGP settings, settings similar to Tutanota. It will allow you to send an encrypted mail very similarly to Tutanota does, but with a agreed upon password. Again, it's very similar and I'm gonna show you what that looks like. So if I go ahead and hit compose uh, within ProtonMail, I have the ability to set an expiration time, uh, which is kind of nice in that it will just die. 
uh, if I want to, and I can encrypt that message as well um, and send that on. Now, these both, Tutanota and ProtonMail, are locked at about one gigabyte of capacity right now, so you'll burn through that pretty fast if you're sending encrypted messages that contain large attachments, so just keep that in mind. The next service, and the one that is my favorite, is called LavaBoom. Now, LavaBoom is available right now from Indiegogo. Indiegogo is a crowdfunding location. You can sign up right now and get access to the beta of LavaBoom with as little as $17 as a contribution to their company. Now, the reason I actually prefer LavaBoom, even though it doesn't have some of the, the things that I want, like labels and drafts and, and all of that jazz, the reason I like LavaBoom is because it actually uses PGP. Now, if I wanted to send an email message to someone with a PGP key, all I do is create a contact and upload their public key to it instead of doing this weird encrypted email thing. Now, I told you that I would show you in both Tutanota and ProtonMail what it looks like when you send a message using that encrypted option. So here we go. I'm going to just go ahead and pop those open for you. Uh, this is an email that I sent to LavaBoon from Tuta, and I'm just going to go ahead and open that encrypted message. And when that pops up, you're going to see this. It's going to ask for the password, um, and I'm just going to go ahead and add that in uh, to receive that message. All right. Now, when I actually get this password incorrectly, then what you're going to see is it will just pull up the text of that message so that we can see everything that's been sent, including attachments and things like that. Now, it's interesting. And the reason why is because it actually just opens everything up um, so that they can reply to your message confidentially. But the problem, as you can see, is that I've got actually a couple of messages already in the system that were sent to me from Tuta. So I can reply confidentially because I'm on their service, but it's kind of weird because I've got a very simple password that I created, and now I've got this kind of pseudo mailbox on Tuta Nota, but not really. Um, so it's, it's a little strange. Now Proton, we're going to switch back to Lava here real quick to look at the Proton version. Um, and we're going to go ahead and view that secure message so you can see what that looks like. It just prompts for a very simple password, and I'm going to go ahead and enter that. And then it shows me the message just simply as it is, uh, with none of the other kind of account stuff that you get in Tutanota. It doesn't keep the running tally of all of the messages that I've sent to this account, um, and I can go ahead and just reply securely to that if I would like. So it is a little bit cleaner of an interface in Proton than in Tutanota. Now, going back to LavaBoom, when I send LavaBoom and compose a message here, uh, all that matters is the person that I'm sending it to. So if I go ahead and, you know, I've got formatting and attachment options in here, or I can send an unencrypted version of an email. But if I wanted to encrypt a contact, all I do is enter their email address and simply click on the lock button, which will allow me to upload their PGP key. You can download your own private PGP key and public PGP key from the settings in LavaBoom and send those out to your websites and your contacts to communicate securely. If you have any questions about any of these services, I realize I went through fairly quickly between Lava, Proton, Tuta, and Collab, but all of them have pros and cons. So if you have questions about one of those services, feel free to just shoot me a note, um, go ahead and ask away, and I will be happy to answer any questions that you have. Thanks for tuning in, and again, reach out if you have any questions.